G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back. Right, Sunday evening here in Australia, $2.56 trillion as the market cap. Uh, down ever so slightly, hardly anything really, just kind of traveling sideways. Bitcoin dominance continues to fall under 45% now, about 44.5%, and the Bitcoin price sitting at around 60,000. So we have definitely had a bit of a retracement since the you know, exuberance of the Bitcoin ETF being approved. So that got us all the way up to sort of around about $67,000 and has brought us back down to 60,000. And ETH gas prices are the cheapest they have been in a while. But again, that's for a very basic transaction. You try and do anything other than uh, sending some ETH to one place or the other from one wallet to the other, you're more still looking at around sort of $30, $40, depending on uh, what kind of smart contract it is that you're using it on. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. And what time you do it. Uh, now would be a good time uh, to send some uh, things and smart contracts. I mean, just be ready to pay up unless you're lucky enough to be on an L2. All right, let's have a look. Bitcoin, 60,000. So again, down a little bit. A lot of things are down. But look, we've always got some outliers that are a little bit different and are up. Uh, so what's done the best in the last 24 hours? What are the gainers that we've had? All right, there we go. Shiba Inu, good Lord, out of nowhere, 36%. Curve Dow token up 15%. Uh, Harmony One up 10%. Nexo up 10%. So a couple of nice double digit movers. And then we have plenty of single digit movers. Uh, Olympus doing all right there. Kasama doing all right. Mina Protocol doing nice. Uh, Zcash. So yeah, plenty of green, which is good. But the overall market is down ever so slightly. So of course, we're going to have some red. What hasn't fared so well? Well, there we go. OKB down 4%, Solana down 4%, Rweave, Axie Infinity, DYDX. But look, the losses are very, very minimal. And again, that's to be expected considering the market's down less than a percent uh, over the last sort of 24 hours. All right, let's jump onto the Bitcoin chart. Now, if you haven't noticed today, this is all just charts. So we're basically going to go through pretty much every coin uh, that I've invested in and see where they are at the moment on the charts and to try and find out is there any still good buys or uh, you know good uh, buy-in positions I should say let's have a look at Bitcoin first all right take a while all right so we can see again this is you know the ETF gets approved we have this big spike up and then we've come back down but again look where we're sitting over around about here, basically old sort of resistance, we're hoping becomes uh, new support. And again, we're waiting to see what happens Monday morning stateside time. Uh, they're still getting into their Sunday uh, sort of day time at the moment. So they've still got, you know, 24 hours to go before it's sort of Monday morning over there. And then we'll see whether the markets pick up. And again, it's, you know, more of this kind of stuff or... Do we have to come back down again, maybe sort of settle somewhere down around about $58,000? Definitely pop possible and would not be overall surprising. Uh, but again, just keeping in the back of our mind, this could be a double top with a bit of a fake out to then just really dump the market lower. Not what I'm thinking, not what I'm expecting, but absolutely possible. All right, let's go have a look at Ethereum. Every chart's probably going to want to do this now. Right here is Ethereum uh, in the dollar terms. So again, I showed this before. This is the long-term dollar uh, trend here, and this one is the one since the crash of uh, 2020, uh, March 2020, where everything crashed. So at the moment, Ethereum still is looking like it's either fair value at the moment or possibly just under fair value. And again, look at where it seems to be finding uh, support basically right under the old all-time highs and we can see that this got up very close or it actually did basically equaled its old all-time high just about except for with the wicks and actually the wicks probably line up that is almost perfect so there you go probably would be perfect there you go it's like uh it is just kind of confirmed that but what i am liking is it's setting in higher lows even though it's getting rejected these lows are constantly higher so you know, Ethereum on the dollar chart looking quite nice. How's it, how is it performing against Bitcoin? What's it looking like? All right, so I showed this a while ago. It was forming a bit of a wedge, and what we had 
was, uh, again, I talk about uh, breakout trades. This is one that doesn't kind of pay off unless you get in and sort of out really quickly. So again, breakout trades can be good and they are a higher probability of being good, but they can be breakout fake out. So this was a breakout. Everyone got really excited and then it dropped down. Now, it's not that the ETH price so much was dropping down. It's just Bitcoin started to outperform Ethereum. But now we can see Ethereum is starting to make a little bit of a comeback. So there we can go. We can see uh, Ethereum is starting to actually gain ground on Bitcoin. So we'll have to wait and see whether that lasts. But look at this. This is just consolidation. This is basically Ethereum consolidating against Bitcoin since, you know, let's go back to May. So that is a number of months. And as we go on through and I look at a number of these coins, there's very similar things happening. So while, yes, it's been sort of bullish and other than this, you know, little retracement that we've had in the last couple of days, a lot of these charts, they are looking quite bullish. Doesn't mean they have to end up being bullish. They can definitely not be bullish, but I'm liking what I see. So Ethereum uh, is looking quite nice. All right, this is engine, so against the dollar. Again, this is kind of the fair value, this white line through here. And again, this is just roundabouts. It's not exact. It's not like it has to be on this white line because this white line can be moved. You can say, oh, no, it's actually, uh, you know, getting more touch points here. Uh, so it's really undervalued. And then, again, some people might say, oh, no, that lines up more with, again, these touch points here, these low points. So it's actually overvalued ever so slightly. For me, I'm just going to take a kind of mid-ground and run through the middle there. So for me, it's looking like it's a just either undervalued or at about fair value. So interesting against the dollar. How's it doing against Ethereum? Right, there we go. Hopefully I don't lose that. All right, so again, this is basically the base. When you see Enigma down, uh, sorry, engine down around these prices, it's a pretty good buy. Down around here, so between here and this red is really where I would definitely start to want to buy. Now again, none of this is ever financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It's just me looking at some charts from my uh, point of view, and I'm anything but a chart expert. But I've been around a while and I can usually pick times that are generally pretty good to buy. I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. But what we can see is here was this other line when we're really above it, we're hoping that it'll uh, hold support and it did a couple of times, but most of the time it's fallen through and look where it's come down to. Old resistance points, uh, it has come down to here, but we haven't really come down here for a while and now it's starting to hold uh, support and again, basically some old sort of resistance points. So at the moment, engine looks pretty good on the dollar. It's looking pretty good against Ethereum, but we need to remember this still could come down to here. And it is totally possible that it has to come way down to here. That doesn't mean it loses dollar value. That just means it gets way outperformed by Ethereum. But eventually, when it runs, it will likely start to bounce back up. So for me, I'm looking at uh, risk to reward ratio. The risk for me is really, I'm thinking we probably come down to here. I think it's unlikely we're going to come down to here anytime soon. I think that's more bear market sort of territory. Uh, and outside of that, uh, it's been performing pretty well. And again, this looks like a lot of sort of sideways accumulation where it keeps finding support here in its little zones that it's found support on numerous other occasions, but it's also been resistance once or twice. All right, how is Enigma going against Bitcoin? Again, look where it's bouncing off. This is places where it was resistance a few times, and then it's also been support and it's bounced off here. This is where people at the moment are quite happy to get in uh, and get some against Bitcoin. Now, this definitely could roll over, and here's that uh, breakout, fake out again. Breakout, everyone gets super excited, and uh, it comes down, but it has retested an old low uh, and also a high. Again, support resistance zone. So for me... Enigma is looking pretty good and it's that kind of gaming play. Now again, risk to reward is the risk is it can definitely come down a lot lower uh, and the reward is generally not a whole lot higher. So it's kind of 50-50 for me when I'm looking at Enigma versus 
uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin. So it could go low, but it, again, it's something similar. It just seems to be finding support here. Doesn't mean it has to hold. This could definitely go, come down, go to here, possibly down to here, but I just don't see it. All right. Cardano. This is a very interesting one. Here we go. We can see it was just traveling sideways. This is when it was like sort of two cents, three cents, and things like that for quite some. Well, this is about 40 cents. Uh, got down to sort of two cents uh, and three cents down in around about here. Uh, eight cents. I picked it up for, I think, three cents and eight cents uh, around, back in sort of here. Uh, I couldn't believe I actually got it uh, that cheap. Uh, and it's not showing up on this, which is weird, but I definitely got some for eight cents. I'll have to go back and check. Uh, what the other prices were i might be getting it mixed up with uh, matic because i definitely got that at sort of two three cents but anyway here's where cardano has been moving it's been on this upwards trend and at the moment look at this it's been traveling sideways for a number of months it's had a pump up but it's basically going sideways so this is possible accumulation now again this is just against the dollar how's it performing against ethereum Well, here we can see it's pumped up and it just keeps coming and it's bouncing off this line at the moment. Bounce, bounce, and here we are. And we're waiting to see if it's going to bounce and then start to go higher. So again, it's not quite in a real good buy zone. You know, A good buy zone against Ethereum would be down here on this yellow line because we can see there's been a lot of uh, confluence there. But that doesn't mean uh, it will bounce off here. It may come down and bounce off here but again I'm thinking that's more bear market sort of stuff as opposed to uh, anything that's going to happen so ADA at the moment uh, it's a 50 50 on whether it's a good buy it doesn't look awful but it just doesn't look great again greats more down between these yellow lines and the red lines and this is against Bitcoin and it's looking somewhat similar but again very interesting it seems to be kind of finding support down around this kind of green line here again old resistance looks now it's now becoming support and if we are going into a really big alt season then it's definitely possible that it's found support and it's getting ready to make its next leg up it just doesn't look as good as some of the other things on the charts i'm 50 50 in between about you know whether ada is a good buy at the moment but look at the moment it is definitely finding support in a few key areas all right next one Chainlink, people have really gone to sleep on this and everyone's been kind of super frustrated. And that's because Chainlink, you know, you can basically go back to January, the start of this year, it's pretty much been traveling sideways. So that's months. Now that means that there's probably a whole lot of accumulation going on here though. Because what we see is when something travels sideways for a while, and yeah, it's got some peaks and some troughs, boom, it makes a big move. A bit of sort of sideways action here for a while, Boom, a big move. A bit of sideways action here for a while. Boom, a big move. So now we've got this kind of sideways move, movement here. Yeah, it goes up and yeah, it even comes down. But generally, it's just traveling sideways. Again, if there is an alt season coming, like a lot of people suspect there is, this is this looks like accumulation and some you know sort of semi long term accumulation months worth of accumulation you could even say it possibly starts sort of way back here yeah we have one kind of pop we have that low and then again it's just kind of sitting at at its average mean price of 20 you know 5 ish dollars starting to move above but again still looks like it might be undervalued in its long term uh, upwards trend against the dollar how's it going against ethereum Again, something very, very interesting. Look at this. Just lots of sideways. This was that possible capitulation against Ethereum. And now it seems to be uh, up around. Now, this could definitely become resistance, though. And it could uh, have to come lower, maybe back down to here. But I'm looking at risk to, risk to reward ratio. And I'm also asking myself, do I think that the altcoins are going to get hammered here? maybe down to here i'm just not sure they're going to come down to here this is more bear market sort of stuff so i think it's definitely possible it floats around in here and again so the risk is probably down to here could go lower but what's excuse me the reward we at least get back to old all-time highs against ethereum 
and maybe even set in new ones. So again, I think Link uh, looks pretty good at the moment. Is it the best price? I don't know. Again, it bounced around here for a while. I'm just now hoping that this is capitulation and now it starts to use this as support again before it starts to make its way up. And this can get very violent and happen very quickly. I mean, look at this. This is April through to uh, August. Uh, that's only a couple of months and it just went <whistles> straight up. So we could see something like that. All right, what about link against Bitcoin? Again, something sort of very similar. It's coming down and it's just bouncing around these kind of levels. So could it go lower? Yep, but it's just, it's bounced here a couple of times, bounced over here, and now it's almost bounced perfectly. Again, you can grab this ever so slightly and move it up a little bit if you want like that. And then it is a perfect bounce. Uh, again, these are just rough guides, but again, Link is looking pretty good at the moment. Undervalued against the dollar, maybe. Uh, bouncing on some kind of uh, key support levels on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. So again, could the could it be getting ready to blow up? All right. Aave. Again, here's roughly the fair value. This one is super interesting. Aave has basically been traveling sideways since February this year against the dollar. Yep, it's had its blow off top. Uh, it's set in the low, but now what can we see? Higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. This looks like it could be getting ready to blow up. Now, a lot of people consider either Compound, and Compound had a few issues not that long ago, or Aave to be the true blue chip DeFi projects. This could be mass accumulation, mass accumulation. Just trying to shake people out, you know, test their resolve. Are you legit? You know, we'll pump it up and get you excited. Then we'll dump it back down and we'll pump it up and dump it back down to get people to simply sell. Because if, you know, the rumors are true that Aave could be, you know, the DeFi that traditional finance start to use with the Aave Pro that they're bringing out that's going to have KYC and all of that, then gee, you know, the old traditional finance, this is the protocol that they would want to get on the back of uh, for sure, if those rumors are true. So this could be mass accumulation and getting ready for this to spike way up. Might be wrong. No, again, never financial advice. We'll have to wait and see. How's it going against Ethereum then? Because dollar-wise, it's been traveling sideways for ages. Again, this is now super interesting. It is well in my buy zone. So it's almost coming down to the point where people have just kind of given up on it. Now, not people have given up on Aave, just kind of DeFi in general, and it's not really making the big sexy returns, and there's a lot of people jumping in and out. But again, so what's the risk to reward? The risk is maybe we've got to come down here. Now, this is against Ethereum. What's the reward? Even if we don't get to old all-time highs, we just get to close, what is the percentage gains on that? That is crazy. Let alone, we maybe get to an old sort of all-time high on a candle close or set in new all-time highs. So Aave is looking quite nice at the moment, both on the dollar pattern and the Ethereum pattern. And now here we go on the Bitcoin pattern. It's looking quite nice as well. Definitely could come down. Bitcoin could run. And again, maybe this has to come back down and retest here. But it just looks like, again, maybe this is capitulation now. And it's starting to make its way back up. We'll have to wait and see. Aave looks pretty nice though in my books. All right, Matic. Here's where it's made its move. So again, this is what I'm talking about. Heaps of sideways movement, just doesn't feel like anything's really happening. Some uh, breakouts and then some, you know, capitulation kind of things that happen. And then here, November last year, this is when Matic just started to really pump. Now look what we have. Months of sideways consolidation. With a breakout, with a capitulation, now low, higher low, higher low, higher low. I get the feeling like Matic is possibly getting ready to break out. It's looking good again. All right, let's see what it's doing against Ethereum. Again, look at this sideways consolidation for just ages and it's bouncing off these key points. Is that the capitulation? Or again, maybe does it have to come down and test here? Uh, again, unlikely, I think it's coming all the way down to test here, but possible. So again, Matic, I think is looking quite nice at the moment, even though it's gone up. Uh, in dollar value, we had saw those 20% pumps. 
uh, that was simply against the dollar and that is just Matic trying to catch up to Ethereum and Bitcoin because they moved up. Now again, look at this, sideways forever against Bitcoin and then it's got these patterns. It pumps up, sideways, it pumps up, sideways, it pumps up, sideways, it pumps up. It didn't really have much sideways here and then it just pumped up. Now look what we have. Months and months and months of basically sideways action to now maybe this was the capitulation higher low higher low now again this can simply roll over we don't know yet but this just it looks good at the moment i am quite bullish on matic uh, slash polygon i think it looks really good uh, number one everything the project's doing in the team but also just the uh, sideways consolidation and again this is when people have given up it's not sexy it's not giving me the gains so i'm just selling it and i'm going to go chasing these other gains which is fine if you're a really good trader but gee if you're accumulating across here the chances are we're probably going to start to see something like this coming again never financial advice and there's no guarantee on that v chain again making its move this is a rough average against the dollar and look where it is 13 cents uh, traveling sideways again for a number of months now we had the breakout we had the capitulation and now it's setting in higher lows a lot of altcoins are having very similar uh, setup patterns not only against the dollar but then against ethereum and bitcoin again here's the low look where it's finding support an old place where it's found support before support broke through just a little bit support support a uh, bit of resistance here resistance uh, support 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 resistance support and resistance and now look again it's just getting when the volatility really starts to die down and you get sideways movement you, you just go back through the chart whenever there's sideways movement for a while bang blows up bang blows up you know here it went down but look at this a bit of sideways bang went straight up again when it all gets quiet and not a lot is going on and right now it's going sideways not a lot going on and everyone's expecting a mega altcoin season in the next basically sort of two and a half months could be a really really good setup all right v versus uh bitcoin again something similar it looks like it's found its low it's capitulated against bitcoin and around about where there were some old sort of support resistance levels but here was the low uh here was the low it did again set in one more low but again was that now the capitulation low before it gets ready to move on up it's hard to tell with the uh v chain one against bitcoin it doesn't look as good as the ethereum one or the dollar one but Hey, again, still, it looks like there's support here and it's starting to move up against Bitcoin. Sorry, this is going to be a long one, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd go through it. So this is uh, dot, again, look at this. Sideways, 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 sideways. Boom! And now, uh, again, it's just constantly bouncing on this line. So dot against the dollar doesn't look great. It looks like it's overvalued. But you can't just take one chart. That's one piece of the puzzle. What about DOT versus Ethereum? Look at this. Staying just above this line. So again, everyone's getting super excited about DOT and the upcoming power chains and things like that. Well, it's been moving up against Ethereum for a while. But now we've got a little bit of a pullback. And again, maybe it's going to come down to here. Risk to reward, ladies and gentlemen. The risk is most likely... We come to here definitely possible we come down to here i don't think there's any chance we're going to here but look anything's possible never financial advice and the reward is maybe we only get back to here but that's some pretty big upside and again that's against ethereum maybe we set in new all-time highs against ethereum so who knows what that makes the price but that's some pretty good upside but there is still the risk you always need to remember that right what about dot against bitcoin Look at this, sideways, for quite some time. Now it did look like we are gonna have a breakout, but look at this, it keeps setting in higher lows. Low, higher, low, higher, uh, low. This was a little bit higher. Now again, we had that capitulation move and it even double uh, bottomed here. But you could say this is a bit like a W, down, down, and look at this, starting to move up. 
and running on this uh, line. Is this going to be resistance or will it flip this into support? But not looking too bad. But again, I'm not super bullish on DOT at the moment, uh, at least in the kind of short term, like the next few days uh, to sort of week or two. There's nothing there. But this is still sideways movement generally with a couple of peaks and troughs. So yeah, keep your eye out. All right, GRT. Again, against the dollar, here we go. It had this big breakout, then came down. Now look at this. It's basically been traveling sideways, again, for months on the dollar. Yes, it's gone down below. Yes, it's gone above, but it's just a lot of sideways action. All right. How's it performing against Ethereum then? Look at that. Capitulation. That is literally what that looks like. Again, everyone got super bullish. Now everyone's given up on it. It's gone quiet. It's come down, come down. Most likely, again, not guaranteed capitulation. And look where it perfectly matched up with an old point uh, of resistance. And now it's starting to set in higher lows. So is the graph getting ready for a big move, like most altcoins? If it's going to play out, again, all these charts are looking somewhat similar. Not exactly the same, they're never going to. But now here we got the graph against Bitcoin. Have a look at this. Old uh, resistance has become support. Was that, again, this is even a little bit lower, was that the capitulation? Now it's starting to set in higher lows. Now, will this last? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. It could just simply travel sideways for, you know, another couple of sort of, you know, weeks or so, you know, possibly all the way to December, maybe even sort of January. Who knows when the market's really going to hit that peak trough. Uh, and again, then we see explosive moves like this. So again, risk to reward. The risk is most likely probably down to here, but possible down to here. So there's a bit of risk, but what's the reward? let alone keeps going and just sets in, you know, another bigger high. So, so many altcoins are all looking the same. Or at least very similar, not exactly the same. All right, Uni, this is very interesting. Uni has been traveling sideways for months against the dollar. Months and months and months. And you can basically, you know, pretty much go back to the sort of start of the year just about, or at least sort of February, uh, late January. Months of sideways kind of trading with peaks and troughs and all the rest of it. All right, that's against the dollar. How's it looking against Ethereum? Have a look at this. Again, very interesting. Here's an old range of sort of support and resistance. It was support, and then it became resistance, became sort of support, and now look at it bounced off it a number of times. Is it now hitting capitulation or is it possibly going down to here? It could do. Again, risk to reward, ladies and gentlemen, the risk is that it goes down to here. And look, it could go lower, that's definitely possible. But this just feels like it's the bottom down here. This would really mean that people have just given up on Uniswap altogether if it were to go lower. So the risk is, yep, maybe it's gonna come down to here. The reward is, maybe it's gotta come up to here to hit all time highs. And again, that's just candle closes, that's not wicks. So all the rest of it, maybe we go even higher. Against Bitcoin, again, something fairly similar, just a lot of sideways action for Uniswap for a really long time. And again, resistance became support, and we're staying a little bit higher. Look, you know, you could probably say, actually, this is now uh, the mark that we're really looking for. Hasn't quite come down there, but again, it just this looks like a lot of sideways action. People just basically giving up on the project, you know, a couple of riding some highs and then, you know, selling on some lows. So uni, you make your own mind up. It's a good project. Right, secret network. I've been speaking about this for a while. Uh, it has made a move already. That's not to say it can't move higher. Now, again, this is how it's gone against the dollar. So we had the big kind of blow off top. And now have a look where that was. You know, that was about sort of $5 something. And where are we now? sitting a little bit higher. So we are kind of at new all-time highs uh, for this kind of cycle. I think it's been higher previously when it was Enigma. Yeah, when it was Enigma, I think it got up to $8 or something like that. And it's not too far away from there right now. So against the dollar, looks like it might be a little bit overbought. Doesn't mean it can't get a whole lot higher though. How's it looking against Ethereum? Same thing, it's already been making big moves. 
Now it is set in a lower high though. So at the moment, Secret is not looking like a great buy. It, look, this could still keep going up though. Absolutely still could keep going up. We haven't even set in a new all-time high. But at the moment, we had uh, the high. Now we've got a lower high. So we've got to wait and see. I'd more be waiting for it to possibly come down to about here. And look, it definitely could def it could definitely come down to here. So the risk to reward on secret is not great at the moment uh, against Ethereum. What, ag what about against Bitcoin? A little bit more interesting. Again, bang, we've bounced and it's starting to make its move up. Now, what you need to remember with these uh, moves against Bitcoin and Ethereum is if this alt season's coming, like everyone's talking about, you know, in the next sort of, again, two and a half months or so, you're going to see things like this happen really, really quickly. So is this this before this happens so again it doesn't look as good on the charts but it doesn't look horrible either all right solana here we can go made its big move looks like it might be a little bit overbought only just though and again if we're going into these parabolic moves things can get really really crazy they can go really high how's it looking against ethereum sideways for quite some time so interesting again, uh, set a new sort of uh, high, but then we're having a bit of a retracement, that's to be expected. Now what I'm watching for is this going to set a new low, and then that would be, I'd be looking for more sort of down here uh, to come in against Ethereum. Let's see how it's doing against Bitcoin then. Again, very interesting. Is that the low capitulation? Now it's back up to, you know, kind of bouncing around where it's been before, but get, getting ready to set a new all-time high against Bitcoin. Again, doesn't look as good. And last but not least, I'm going to go to XRP. All right, against the dollar, it doesn't do kind of too well. Uh, and look, XRP, it's one of those things that you're either into it or you're not. But what you're doing is you want to get in somewhere here before it does something like this. But have a look at this. It's been trading sort of sideways for a long time. Since 2017, it just traveled sideways at around sort of, you know, 30-ish cents. It definitely dropped lower, but there was so much of this. So is what you're seeing here something like this repeating before you see something like this? Now, that's against the dollar. It doesn't look as good against Bitcoin and Ethereum unless you're looking for a project that it looks like everyone's given up. Look at this. Sideways for ages. With a peak, got everyone excited, come back down. This looks like, again, people who've just given up on a project and that's when projects generally go boom. If they're a good project, and again, you know, your opinion of XRP is your opinion. If you don't like it, then, you know, don't get into it, obviously. But this looks like a big lot of accumulation. This looks like the floor where people are happy to get in. But it's also been having lower highs constantly all the time. See, lower highs, lower highs. So, you know, again, this, I'm not saying this is a great or a bad chart. Well, it looks like a bad chart pattern uh, in all fairness but we know what xrp can do it's just being uh hammered against ethereum for quite some time but look what it did december 2017 it absolutely smashed everything so when it pumps it really can pump and last but not least how it's doing against bitcoin and a very similar kind of chart you know it's been sort of all over the place against bitcoin but now look it just feels like it's been going sideways for a long time with peaks and troughs and here we are. Is it going to have one more sort of capitulation and come down to here against Bitcoin? And that doesn't mean it has to necessarily lose dollar value. Maybe just Bitcoin gets on another run and XRP just kind of really travels sideways against it. goes up slowly. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. The XRP charts, they never look good, unfortunately, except for when they're doing this stuff. And that can be far and few between. But gee, when it moves, it can really start to move. And, you know... We'll have to wait and see what happens with the whole SEC thing. All right, look, that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this has been a bit of a long one. Just some chart analysis. A lot of altcoins are looking really, really good at the moment. Now, good in the point that it looks like everyone's kind of given up on them uh, and they're not really chasing altcoins. And that tends to be when they start to make the biggest moves. When they're way down low on these charts and it looks like nothing exciting is going on, that is when all of a sudden you get these huge moves like this.
And if that altcoin season that everyone is expecting is coming, this then turns into this kind of stuff. And again, that's when there's going to be, you know, prices that just completely melt faces. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment. Most things are down, but, you know, there are some gains to be made. And I'll see you next time.